Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. This is day number 133 of my 365 day beard growing project and today I'm sick. But that's actually a good thing because if you're like me and you're trying to grow a big beard, you'll undoubtedly run into this problem sometime during the process and you're gonna need some help. So at this point I should probably warn you guys that this video might get a little bit snotty. So if that's not your thing, you can skip this video. But if you hang in there, then I will be offering you some strategies on how to keep germs out of your beard. All right, let's start by debunking a couple of myths. Number one, can you get sick from eating other people's hair that you find in your food? That's gross. And if I see it, I definitely don't eat it. But most likely at some point in your life, especially if you eat out quite a bit, you're gonna get some unsuspecting hair that falls in your food and you're just gonna chow down on it. Fortunately, according to the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA has received no reports of people getting ill from ingesting hair found in food. However, common sense tells me that if you're ingesting some hair that may be covered in germs, bacteria, or viruses, there's still a chance that you're gonna get that illness. On to number two. Does having wet hair or a wet beard and going outside cause you to get sick? According to the Huffington Post, the answer is no. Colds and the flu are caused by viruses. The only way to come down with these bugs is to come in contact with the viruses that cause them. All right, so let's say you've come down with a head cold like me. <sighs> Warning, in the next few seconds, things are gonna get really snotty. And despite trying to keep that snot out of your mustache, it still seems to find its way there. And I mean, sure, you can rub it around, but again, you're just rubbing it around and the germs are still there. So what can you do about it? Here's a technique I've developed to keep the snot out of your mustache. I call it the snot pocket. Number one, you'll need two tissues, one for each nostril. Number two, I like to fold my tissue over about two thirds of the way. Gives it a little extra added protection. Step number three, you're gonna cover your nose with the tissue like normal, but in this time, this time you're going to be actually pressing one of the nostrils down with your finger, like this. So you're gonna focus on one nostril at a time. In this case, I'm gonna be focusing on my right nostril, plugging my left one with my finger at first, covering it over and holding it like such. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. While you're holding your nostril and the, the tissue over your nose, you're going to use your thumbs and you're actually going to tuck your thumbs underneath and kind of create a pocket while this bottom part is going to be covering up your mustache. I'll try to show you the best I can here from a side profile. So here I am covering my nose, plugging my nostril, and then with my thumbs I'm going to literally bring the bottom part under but over my mustache but under my nostril. Okay, so there we have kind of a formed a pocket right here, ready for it to go. <sighs> Pulling it out, you can still do a dab. There's still maybe gonna be a little bit there, but it's definitely gonna be a lot better. All right, let's repeat that, but now with the other nostril. So I've got my tissue, I'm folding it over two thirds of the way. I'm plugging my right nostril this time. I'm gonna cover my nose with my other finger. Using my thumbs, I'm gonna tuck this bottom part up under my nose but over my mustache and then kind of forming that pocket <sighs> just like that really reducing the amount of snot that gets in your mustache and while I'm sick like this I like to wash my beard every day I know it's generally not a good idea to wash your beard every day but you want to get those germs out of there and uh, make sure to wash your hands often too so you're not spreading the germs all over the place and getting everybody else sick well, thanks for watching my video today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it somewhat useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all my beard growing techniques and tips. Thanks for watching.